magic in the air. It's that special time of year when Don and Kelly are drinking rain twenty four years. Some will pop and some will soar. We'll give them each a ring your score. It's gonna be a very merry program. Hey everybody, welcome to day 10 of the Bruvent Beer Review Calendars. It's a simple process. We open a beer, one of 24. We taste it, and then we rate it on... A reindeer scale from 1 to 8. Right, that's what we do. So, uh, what do we got today, baby? We have day 10 beer. Day 10 beer. I can help if you want. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. All right. I believe in you. Let's see. Oh, that's done. I'm Kelly. <laughs> While I open. That's right. Uh, here we go. This. <laughs> well, I don't oh know why God. it's a I, I swear I wrapped she it like everything it else. Tape is what she did. <laughs> nice catch. Ooh, 3D. All right. So this is what is the what is the actual. Brewery? Label on this. What's the brewery on this? I don't know, but the can's really cool. We're gonna find out. But it's it's called an it's a it's complicated being a wizard, double IPA, and this is by the government warning the Burlington <laughs> Beer Company. All right, so it's complicated being a wizard. I mean, that well, seems accurate. That's what Gandalf found out when he took on Yoda. <laughs> Still holding on to that, are we? Uh, absolutely. Dumbledore <laughs> went down first. Well, yeah. Didn't even give up a give a fight. All right, so let's see what Poor Cam says about this. Not even smelling it, just looking at it. Double IPA. I'm guessing it's more New England style. I do hope so, judging by the haze and the color. Yeah, the regular style. So you can try it first, baby. Okay. That's pretty cool art. Nice job. Mm. Was I right or wrong? Uh, we were right. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's nice. A little hazy. Got a beautiful sort of orange golden color to it. Um, nice texture on that head. Yeah, it's and really beautiful. What do you think of the flavor? What do you think of the flavor? Um, it's good. It's a little bit sharper than I expected mm -hmm. you know, from the haze, but it's right. still more. Um, citrus forward than it is hops forward, which yeah. is what I prefer in an IPA. I completely agree. This is, yeah, that's quite drinkable. It's got that little bit of sort of IPA bitterness in the back of the throat, mm -hmm. but it's just sort of almost a little nudge that says, don't forget, I'm an IPA, not a <laughs> glass of grapefruit juice, um, or a glass of mango juice, whatever. Uh, it, it's got that beautiful, fairly well-balanced fruit flavor to it. But again, you're picking up enough citrus to give it that acid, but also enough sweetness to, to make you, again, think mango, think things like that. So would you order this if you saw it on a line of taps? I absolutely would. I'd be interested to see how this tasted on tap because it's really good out of the can. I agree. I would definitely give this a shout. This also, because it's got a little bit of that bitterness that cuts through, um, that IPA you know, a traditional uh, flavor characteristic. I think this would be great for things like pizza or whatever, where you kind of you kind of want to get the the cheese and the oil out of your taste buds. This would be a great palate cleanser for that kind of stuff. And as we're getting into like the party and gathering season responsibly in small groups with people who've been properly vaccinated, <laughs> um, this would be a great uh, compliment to a charcuterie board. Yes, yes the it cured would. Cured meats and cheeses and, and uh, nuts and that kind of thing. I think that would be a lovely So now that. that you have gotten used to judging Imperials, judging doubles, things like that, what would you guess the ABV was on this? I'm just curious. I'm going to guess, guess 8.5. Holy shit. What? Okay. Eight. <gasps> Eight. <laughs> nice, nice job. No nice, one is more surprised nice than me. Job, you know, yeah. Uh, as a double IP, it's gonna have a little stronger, you know, uh, alcohol to it. Um, but that was that was really wow. good. Um, folks, uh, I he's he's finding me super sexy. Right now. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Turn that camera off. Um, what reindeer scale would you give this? This is this is another seven for me. It's really really good. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. 
what are your thoughts? Seven, seven works absolutely for me. Um, here we go. We have been inundated with great IPAs. It's like a deliciousness blizzard. <laughs> Where is he going with this? <laughs> but when you're looking for the magic of a great IPA, it's complicated being a wizard. So good, so no. bad. That I was so liked bad. it. That was instant Shakespeare worthy. Wow. Wow. All right. You hit that first round, you know where you're going. Take it. <laughs> yeah. All right, friends. Um, great sort of seeing you again through the lens there. Hope you're having a great holiday season. Um, the 7 out of 8 reindeer for Burlington Brewing Company. It's complicated being a wizard. Um, our best to your best until we meet again. Cheers.